good afternoon dear students so let us continue with the next part of the file arm need area so today we see the classification there is a uh, classes number of classes in uh, the under the file arm and the general characters with example so the first let us see the classification as per hyman in 1940 uh, divided uh, in phylum literature into three classes hydrozoa, skyphozoa, and prozoa. And later on, one in, 19, in the year 1973 introduced another class, uh, cubozoa. There is, in fact, uh, he separated a group of organisms from that uh, earlier class. And then again on uh, 2004, uh, Marcus Colin introduced the fifth class that is Storozoa, uh, which is uh, split up from the uh, Skyphozoa, class Skyphozoa. So let us see the features of each class. Uh, there are the classes Hydrozoa, Skyphozoa, Anthozoa, Storozoa, and Cubozoa. Uh, Hydrozoa, these are the uh, water serpent or hydras, includes solitary freshwater hydra, and most of them are colonial and marine. Uh, this class includes uh, 3000 of altogether 11,000 species. Uh, typical life cycle includes polyp stage and sexual medusa stage in few cases. However, freshwater hydras and some marine hydras do not have the medusa stage. Most of the uh, specimen species of this uh, phylum hydrozoa are polyp without having medusa, but some are having medusa stage. Petal disc, they are having petal disc, mouth, hypostome surrounded by tentacles, 6 to 10 tentacles. And mouth is open to a gastrovascular cavity. And in the mouth is called hypostome. Here in the mouth is not a true mouth. And the elementary canal in the last class we have seen that uh, it is uh, incomplete. There is, there is no anus, only mouth is there. So incomplete uh, the digestive system. And the mouth oral opening is called hypostome. The life cycle is simple. They shed eggs and sperm in the surrounding water where fertilization takes place in the uh, water, marine water or fresh water in the aqu aquatic environment. There is fertilization external and the eggs heads into a uh, planula larva. There is a uh, larva stage in the development and that's why it's called indirect development and the larva is the planula. Uh, SOC liberation takes place in hydras uh, in the, by budding. Here you can see uh, the hydra in the natural environment, in the, on, the, on the surface of the leaves underground. And as I said, the bud, this is the uh, reproductive stage in ovary. And here you can see the buds, where, which will split up someday and it will get another hydra. Uh, hydra walking, you can see the hydras, they can somersault. The reproductive cycle. The same in the side, there's a monoceous or hermaphrodite. The same individual can produce male and female gamete. There is testes and ovary in the same individual, they will produce gamete and the fertilization takes place surrounding water through blastula and ultimately the larval stage will come. Uh, these are the budding, the life cycle of another hydrozoan, Tropsis dhorni. Here you can see uh, polyp grows up into medusa and medusa again, uh, polyp produce medusa and medusa again, so larva stage will develop into polyp. So alteration of generation is, alteration of generation is there. This is uh, ovalia, the different kinds of zoids, reproductive structures, the digestive zoids and uh, protective zoids. Ovalia, here you can see the alteration of generation, general larva, polyp, then polyp adult stage, then Polyp will produce medusa, again medusa will produce gamete, gamete to blastula and planula. So it's going on. Uh, and there are the siphonophores. The siphonophores actually these are colonial and you can see the thread like structure is a long colonies. Uh, if you see closer view, which can, this is an ap uh, apolemia, which can grow up to 40 to 45 meter uh, length. Uh, another hydrozoan, hydrocoral, fire coral or rose coral. Uh, Air fern and other hydrozoans. Jellyfish, these are hydrozoans, 
medusa stage not true jellyfish the other hydrogen jellyfishes uh, spaghetti monster another hydrogen need area uh, sorry then uh, condrophores another hydrogen portuguese men of war although they look like jellyfish they can float but they are not true jellyfish is a hydrogen this portuguese men of war with long tentacles which can uh, extend up to several meters so that was the class hydrozoa next we will move to the uh, skyphos one skyphos one the word derived from the skyphos greek word skyphos means cup and zoon mean element so skyphos one here we will see the umbrella shape it majority of this uh, organism are uh, medusa stage very few species you will find with uh, uh, polyp stage uh, true jellyfish they are the true jellyfish dominant medusa stage about 200 recognized species under that uh, class if you see the characteristics of that class uh, as said the jellyfish medusa umbrella is there thick amount of mesoglea is there and the gastric pouches you will see four gastric pouches uh, and uh, the manubrium downwardly directed uh, this is the large jellyfish you can compare that size with the sea diver a lion means jellyfish diameter is about 2 meter and tentacles extends up to 70 meter in the marine water so at all another bioluminescence most of the uh, nidarians they have the capability of bioluminescence and here you can see uh, midnight zone it is 1000 to 4000 meter below the surface of the sea another jellyfish uh, in the shoreline uh, here you can see that uh, water content is completely drained out and the muscles as i in the last class we discussed that uh, it can be taken as flesh by the uh, coastal humans and uh, in the form of pickles if we see the ultra section of a hydros one a major portion is the uh, mesoglea water content is about 95 percent and the other tentacles and umbrella and this is the locomotive organ and gonads situated another jellyfish called ghost jellyfish a colorful each and every organism in the marine environment a colorful uh by another upside down is jellyfish is not the natural but sometimes during swimming it undergoes and another thing is that uh, in uh, case of uh we will see some symbiotic organism uh, called zooxanthellae or dinoflagellates uh, this is a symbiotic organism where the dinoflagellates or zooxanthellae undergoes perform photosynthesis that supply nutrients to the uh, nidarians and nidarian in return they will give the shelter and protection to, with the help of this nematocyst or nidocytes to the uh, dinoflagellates uh, true jellyfish are the dioecious organism that's male and female uh, gametes are produced by different jelly uh, med umbrella or um, medusa stage and they will mate in the surrounding water marine water they will produce the larva larva will general larva will level up the uh, polyp and polyp will uh, polyp will produce that medusa again then uh, fecundity if you see the fecundity uh, they can produce up to 45000 eggs per day some jellyfish they produce 45000 eggs per day there is uh, chances of survivability is less that's why uh, number of eggs produced large here you can see uh, the nuisance that uh, the jellyfish sometimes uh, close the shipping ships and the marine uh, uh, equipments uh, again some jellyfish uh, they are taking out from the marine uh, if you see the structure uh, there are the, some uh, folding just like uh, the lace of umbrella these are called the lepets in the margin of the uh, jellyfish and each uh, uh, kind of joining point of the two lepets they are the sensory neurosensory cells uh, which acts as a chemoreceptor mechanism receptor and and nerve endings are congregated in that uh, junctions of the lepids they are called rofalia and here you can see the umbrella of the uh, polyp stage that is the medusa comes out uh, from the polyp in the form of strobila or epheira which ultimately develops into a medusa and there is umbrella and it will produce the gametes the another jellyfish uh, these are some examples so let us move to the next class class torozoa 
storage yes the storage one actually uh, uh, stocked not cubes have stocked jellyfish uh, very few around 50 species are there in that class and those this uh, these 50 species are separated out or taken out from the uh, skyphos ones jellyfishes uh, most of them are medusoid and has extent of order there is a uh, stock jellyfish with a total of 50 as I said total of 50 species so those are small animals 1 to 4 centimeter in length and 0 0.4 to 1.6 inches in uh, breadth or uh, length uh, the, uh, that live in marine environment is really attached to seaweeds, rocks and gravels. So next uh, uh, this is the uh, storage ones as I said similar to the skyphos ones like alternating polyp and medusa stage. This is the main difference, uh, uh, main reason wh which uh, because of which the storage ones taken out from the skyphos ones because they lack alternating polyp and medusa stage. Most of them are medusa stage. They uh, gamete produce zygote, then planula, and the ad adults are sessile, just like polyps. Although they are skyphos ones, uh, storage ones, they are polyp like structure and sessile. These are the storage ones. Very few species, as I said, only 50 species are there. These are the storage ones and next move to the class Anthozoa, uh, one of the largest class in the phylum Nidaria. Anthos one, Anthos means flower. So the name derived from the flower like structure of this organism. Exclusively marine, there is no freshwater species. Only freshwater species you will find in the uh, class Hydros one. And the largest, as I said, 6000 species are there in the class Anthozoa. They have the oral end. Our mouth con continue to do uh, siphonoglyphs that brings out the food or gastrovascular um, food item in the gastrovascular cavity. Well developed pharynx. Uh, then the mesentery is splitted up or folded up to increase the surface area of absorption. As I uh, as we see that in case of a human being, uh, there is villi or infolding as there. So in case of uh, entozoans, you will find tentacles surrounding the hypostome as well as at the bottom of the gastrovascular cavity. As I said, the opening is only one opening mouth and at the bottom side you will see some tentacles with uh, nematocyst also and these are called aconchia. Those aconchia helps in uh, grabbing the food item as a half dead or uh, live fish item or food particles if they ingest. This aconchia will help them to furthermore paralyze, furthermore stabilize them so until the digestion takes place. So it is unique, Aconchia is unique in case of uh, uh, ones. Uh, Anthozoans, another important thing is that they accumulate calcium carbonate, is another important interesting uh, point of these nidarians that uh, they will produce, they can produce uh, uh, what is called coral leaves and Anthozoan contributed the major, a major portion in the case of coral leaves, the vast coral leaves because of the deposition of calcium carbonate which we can use for uh, other purposes also in those end class. So let's move to the next class, uh, cubos are the last class cubos. I have you can see there are some examples of anthos ones. Uh, they are deep sea species and that's why colorful and large carpet like species. Uh, there is a symbiotic relationship of anthos one and clownfish symbiotic relationship. So let us move to the last class, Cubozoa. Wait, examples are there. Mm. The class is last one, large one. These are animals, lots of animals are there in that class. Uh, the last class is Cubozoa. Cubozoa is another uh, small class that is splitted up from that uh, anthos ones and because of their size and structure. There are lots of examples and colorful as I said the total class, uh, total phylum is uh, fascinating. A varieties of structure and particular, uh, these are the Cubozoa ones. Uh, the name derived from the cube like structure because the shape is more or less cube with uh, tentacles. Uh, box jellyfish, there are another name is box jellyfish. Uh, medusa stage is dominant, very few species are there with uh, 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 polyps, uh, polyp stage. Uh, they are available in the uh, Pennsylvania region as, I, as, as you can see and 
dangerous at the same time and this class uh, or those evozoans are more harmful because they produce more paralyzing toxin and they have the capability to uh, paralyze larger and larger uh, animals of course human beings are not that much uh, in danger that they will kill but only reason is that they can uh, paralyze underwater and which may lead to death if oxygen cylinder is less if the snorkel tube is gone underwater so another interesting thing is that those jellyfish uh, development evolution is take, has taken place uh, in case of nervous system uh, if you can see that eye spot or eyes these are the uh, simple eyes which is uh, not present in other classes uh, these are the eyes and if we see the ultra structure of eyes you will see, you will see the lens system this is a, a two lens system is there uh, with which uh, they can visualize uh, so it's the extreme development in case of and uh, uh, cubos ones in case of nidarians they have the simple eye in their body structure uh, also the other examples of cubos ones each tentacles may have up to five lakhs of nematocysts that's why uh, they can uh, impart injury to the human or other animals and you that is, most of the sea beaches are uh, restricted for swimming and bathing purposes if you see uh, beaches the bypass jellyfish dangerous one and you can see the symbols like this so you can see the injury in case of uh, cubos ones they can impart injury in case of uh, human being and those regions you will find uh, here you can see the statistics uh, in 19 from 1991 to 2004 50 uh, 225 and that is in uh, impart imparting the injury to the diverse and human beings 58 cases of severe pace uh, 167 cases of mild and irritation 18 cases they hospitalized and death cases only one this may be because of the other thing so with this uh, i will conclude uh, this classification of this uh, nidarians hope this will help you Thank you.